Hey Trick, welcome back to the channel. Hey, I appreciate you tuning in. You know from time to time I do product reviews. This is going to be on a product review and I'm going to give you a disclaimer. I purchased this. Most of the things I do buy on my own and I do uh, do reviews and uh, recommend them or not recommend them based on my opinion. This is what this is going to be. It's going to be on a lawn sprayer trailer. So I have to give you that disclaimer because this wasn't given to me by this manufacturer. It was given to me by the manufacturer. We'll put a disclaimer up there telling you that so you know that I was uh, not necessarily paid for the review, but I was given the product for the review. Like I said, I purchased it, so it's on me. So if you um, have a sprayer uh, like I do, and I'll put a link up there to the top of uh, one of those videos when I first purchased it. Um, it's a UTV sprayer. In other words, you can put it on the back of your golf cart, you can mount it on the back of your zero turn on the front, um, you can put it on the back of a, um, a UTV, uh, a four-wheeler, runner, whatever you want to call them. But I don't have that. I did have it mounted to a plug aerator. I no longer own the plug aerator. We've changed grass and we moved to a different state. Whole other story. If you follow my uh, series, you'll figure it out. If you follow the channel, you'll figure it out. But anyway, this is a horizontal mount universal lawn sprayer trailer. It's perfect for zero turns, radius lawnmowers. Um, it's mix and match any tank, plus mount, plus the boom. It's made by Master Manufacturing. This ran about 150 bucks. It's all steel frame. It has no flat tires on there. Um, it'll work on a 15 and 25 gallon spot sprayer. And it will fit most manufacturers. I would imagine, even though this is uh, master manufacturing, it's probably made in China. I probably won't be able to see that on any tags on here. It does have some weight to it. And I'm going to say it's roughly about 50 pounds. Feels like maybe a 50 pound dumbbell. I'll come in a little closer so you can see the pictures of it and how they have it mounted. Anyway. I'm not going to go through a major unboxing, I'm going to open it up, I'm going to put the camera on pause and we'll come back. Okay, so these are all the parts that have come with the kit. Like I said, they're uh, no flat tires, basically plastic. So you don't have to air them up, I'll have to see how they go, I do have extra ones. I could put on later on, um, regular air up tires if I need them, but we'll try them out. Comes with an assembly car that shows you how to assemble it. Looks pretty straightforward. I am a retired plumber, uh, pipe fitter, welder, instrument tech, and it looks like this is square stock, so I have an idea what kind of metal. The welds don't look too bad. Uh, I've seen worse. This is a little heavier duty, so this must be the part that goes into the tongue, and it's got more girth to it. It's a lot thicker. A lot thicker gauge of metal. And so does this, which is like the axle part of it, I guess where the uh, wheels go on there. And that's thicker, looks like it's got a cotter pin assembly. We're going to slide the wheels on and put the cotter pin on. So I'm not going to make this an assembly video, like I said, I'm trying to keep it fairly short. I'll just uh, give you my feedback on it. It is going to go on the tongue of my zero turn. Bad Boy Mower, and if you haven't seen that video, I also put links up there for that. This is my spray tank that's going to go on there. Like I said, this was for like a UTV setup, and I don't have the cart for it, so we're going to buy this uh, aftermarket replacement cart and see how that works out. There's some tap holes here in the tank, and supposedly they will mount right to this assembly. And then we've got ourselves a pull sprayer. Okay, it is now fully assembled. Um, full disclosure, I swapped out some bolts for some stuff I had in my hardware with some fender washers. Um, it started chewing up the powder coating. The powder coating is really nice on here, but I didn't want to chew it up and expose it um, to the elements. You're going to have uh, liquid spray going on this. You may be doing it after it rained, whatever. So I changed those out. Now here's where you're going to mount your sprayer. There is actually a set of holes here on the inside and on the outside. Depending on how long your sprayer tank is, this says it's adjustable. 15 and 25 gallon sprayer tanks. 
Mine, like I said, is a 15. So what they say is put it on there and then measure it and slide it back and forth. Well, I'm not going through all that mess. Now the way this is set up, it's got a little kickstand on there. The weight gets too heavy, it bounces right there, it won't flip over on you. In the past I've had with uh, some homemade carts I tried to do, it would flip over and it would want to flip the whole tank out. Also another little stand there. Uh, when you want to store it or whatever in the garage, it'll sit like that. And you can leave it fully uh, loaded up with your chemicals, um, you know, all your water and all your spray, whatever it is you're going to do. There's also a pull pin here that you put in. Position it back on the stand in the back. These are a little tight, so you can clean them up a little bit. Then you position this up like this. You can put your pin back in there, it won't do because I'm going to set it back up. And then that part right there will go right on the tongue of your zero turn or your regular tractor. You put another pin in and you're good to go and ready to pull. Like I said before, um, you know, there are different things about it. You can put a boom sprayer here, a long like uh, six, eight foot boom sprayer. I'm not going to need it because I already have a boom sprayer mounted to my tank. It's a different configuration, so I won't probably need it. I can use it later on if I want to or not. That's an added uh, part that you can put on there. Okay, so the best way to actually put this on your tank, to believe it or not, is creep your tank up on the ground. Go ahead and start putting everything in hand tight because sometimes these bolts aren't going to like uh, line up where your uh, center points are for where your mounting bolts go into the bottom of the tank. So you got to have some play. Uh, the welds could pull from the heat and it's got things pulled around this way. I had a heck of a time trying to do it per the instructions in the manual and it didn't work. I loosened everything up, laid it down on top of the tank, hit it with like a soft mallet and it came around to where my center points for the tank, the mount lined right up. Once they line up and you go ahead and tighten them down into here into the tank first, then work your stuff around here and tighten everything else up and you'll be nice and true and square. Okay, here we are. We're all hooked up here. My sprayer's on the trailer. It's all hooked up to my zero turn. I got a bad boy mower. If you haven't seen that link, check that out. They're great mowers and ready to start pulling it. I'll have my wife do some B-roll footage and we'll throw it in there. And I'll tell you later on if I like it or not. With those no flat tires, which is basically just plastic, see if they hold up.
Okay, what's my honest opinion on the spray trailer? Uh, to be honest with you, I had no problems whatsoever. I've got some really high hills over here on my property and before I've had trailers that have tipped over because the water is sloshed to one side. Had no problem with this whatsoever handling that. Going up and down the ditches, the hills on the back side of my property. Hopefully I've got some decent B-roll footage that the wife did for me that I can splice in there that was before this. Hopefully you saw it. But hey, I liked it. Um, I'm going to put a link down here to this product. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I, I liked it. Um, you let me know how you make out with it if you get it. Uh, you can catch some sales, hopefully like $150 shipped to your house. Mount your sprayer on it, then uh, you got an all-in-one unit and do it yourself and not have to call the professionals. Hey, thanks a lot, everybody. Please subscribe. That subscribe button's been running down there in the corner the whole time. We'd appreciate it if you do subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and a like. It lets YouTube know that you like our videos. It'll rank us higher in the ratings. Please share with your family and friends. Let me know if there's something else maybe I can look at for you. I'll try to put it on my list. Like I said, I buy all this stuff on my own. And if I put links on there, uh, whatever residual income I get, it does help the channel. Take care, everybody.